Hey. Oh, rock a cheek. Hello there. This is update number two on the the violence in Ecuador. I got this email. I actually, I would have done this last night if it hadn't been so late, but this email came in yesterday, 18 hours ago, yesterday at 5.04 p.m. It's dated November 2nd. It's from the, it's a security alert from the U.S. Consulate General in Guayaquil. Uh, the locations for this have been increased. It's Guayaquil, Santo Domingo, the de los Saquiles, I'm not sure if that's how to pronounce that, Esmeraldas and Duran. So the event is listed as, since the early morning hours of November 1st, transnational criminal groups and local gangs have attached several government and public venues, have attacked several public venues in Waikil, Esmeraldas, Santo Domingo, and Duran. Criminals have conducted attacks on multiple police stations and gas stations, a bus station, and a medical facility. Five Ecuadorian police officers and two citizens have been killed, and at least six more police officers have been injured. The situation remains dangerous. We urge you to remain vigilant and to take precautionary measures. In response to ongoing coordinated attacks, the government of Ecuador issued Executive Order Number 588, November 1st, and declared a 45-day state emergency in Guayas and Esmeraldas provinces through December 16th, okay? The, the order permits the armed forces and the police to take action necessary to maintain public order, suspends the right of assembly in public spaces for groups infringing on the rights of others, and allows home searches without a judicial order in the two provinces. The order also imposes a daily curfew from 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. in the two provinces. The two provinces is the Wyas, which is where Waikil is, that Wyas province, and the other one is the es Esmeraldas uh, province. Please take the following actions. It's the same ones we got the other day, I believe, Extra or yesterday. Exercise extreme caution and maintain increased vigilance in Waikil. Santo Domingo de, de las Saquiles, Esmeraldas, and Duran. Be aware of your surroundings and avoid large gatherings. Limit travel to daylight hours. Monitor local news for updates. Keep a low profile. Check your map application for alternate routes as some roads may be closed. Enroll in step to receive security updates. So that's it for today. That's update number two. There is some additional information that I received from someone, just in case you'd like to inform your Canadian viewers here. I don't want to forget our Canadian neighbors. I, when I talk about North America, I also mean uh, Canada, but I want to make sure that you know we're not forgetting about you folks, because uh, I know there are a lot of Canadians that are planning to come here. Uh, I'm going to put a link uh, in the description below for a uh, um, for you well it's to, to get information on the travel advice to Ecuador okay uh, it's from www.travel.ec.ca I'll make sure to put a link to that in the description below that's it for today folks please be careful if you're coming to Ecuador I would try not to go into uh, Waikil at this point until further notice at least Sign up for STEP, get notifications from STEP, and uh, stay informed, okay? That's it for this one. I'll talk to you on the next one. Ciao, ciao.